Oh, we're on that. Do, does cheating happen in bass terms? Absolutely, to some extent. The problem is that cheaters don't feel the wrath. Talking about all circuits, not just bass masters. But I think the most of the cheating that happens is almost unpoliceable and it's not happening during the day of the tournament. You know what I mean? It's it's with information being exchanged prior to the tournament. And it's really hard to police that. But that being said, I think when someone does get caught doing something like that, they I mean they need to be depending on what kind of penalty it was, you know, obviously if you didn't hook up your kill switch and you uh, you know drove to a spot like i have no problem with that there's no that's not cheating advantage. yeah well that's, that's a rules, rules violation that's against a rules, the rules. Viol- yeah but okay, i'm saying that's but, a rules violation as opposed yeah. to you're not saying hey i'm gonna save time and not hook up my kill switch yeah but if you get a bunch of waypoints from a local i think you should never fish bass masters again wow ever Ever. I mean, if you could you imagine if people started getting 86? Like there would be a lot less cheating going on. But I don't think there's a whole ton in our league, but um, you know, I and I am not involved in the other ones, but I hear terrible things going on in other leagues. Um, but I, I just think all of them together, regardless of the league, I mean, if that some of them can't because they got, you know, their old poster childs doing it. Um so, you know, it's kind of like the old, man, I don't know how how much I can say here, but, you know, there used to be a guy that fished the FLW tour who was, who Bill Taylor had his back pretty well and could do anything he wants. And, uh, you know, he took full advantage of that. And uh, now I think you got kind of a similar situation at the other one where, you know, they got their poster child kind of do whatever he wants. But, um, yeah, I think if guys were 86 or maybe suspended for a year or some form of serious punishment other than just being DQ'd for one event, it would it would keep a lot of that down from happening. And, you know, 99% of your guys are right as rain. Yeah. It's like any anything. You got, you got a couple guys that are, you know, will blatantly break rules out of whatever it may be, desperation or ego or – or whatever it is. And then, you know, you got some guys that kind of just look for gray areas, you know, they're trying to find loopholes, you know, they're like a good accountant, um, saving you money on your taxes, but this is a kind of a different game where I think it, it should be more black and white. And, and you, you know what the intention of the rule is. Those guys that look for the gray area, they know the meaning behind the rule. And then they just try to look for it being worded differently. So then, then they can, then they can break the rule. And that's just, that's just some dirty shit. Um, I just wish there was more morals and I wish, um, but you know, everybody wants a success. They're not willing, they're willing to trade morals for success. And I think if we, like if we started 86 and people when they got caught or whatever, it's more serious punishment. And I'm not saying just bass masters, but, um, the other organizations, if we started, you know, axing guys, I think you'd have a lot more well-behaved crew. I I mean I think that's proven worldwide. I mean we're places where people chop their hands off for stealing. Yeah, (laughs) they don't steal very much. (laughs) They only got one hand left. You better not steal nothing. (laughs) And if you, dude, if you walk into a store with one hand in one of those places, you you think you think you've been profiled? Imagine how they look at you when you walk in with one hand. I mean, clearly, (laughs) it. um, So. I agree with that, that, that if things, if the penalty was bigger, you'd see less. I, I don't think we see a lot at the top levels, but I think it's also like people have to choose what they, there's a weird time in the world where people celebrate. There's some people who celebrate the gray, you know what I mean? Like you'll see people in other sports be like, wow, I, I, they're I feel pushing very the limits. disrespectful to the game. I love, I think it's super disrespectful. Like I don't like any of them guys that live in the gray. They're disrespecting the sport I love. You know what I mean? They know 